Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Mason Mags, and today I'm here to bring you the Seesaw Riddle number one. Take a good look at this seesaw. You'll notice four types of shapes on this seesaw, and you might notice that the seesaw is completely balanced. The four shapes that you see in no particular order weigh one pound, two pounds, three pounds, and four pounds. Now, let's look at this seesaw. It uses some of the same shapes, but this time, the left side is heavier than the right side. Okay, now let's look at this seesaw. The shapes are floating above this seesaw. And in just a minute, they're about to come down and land on this seesaw. But before they do, answer me this. Which side of the seesaw will be heavier? The left side, the right side, or will it be balanced? Pause the video here if you want to try to figure this out for yourself. Okay, let's work for this. For this scale, we can ignore the yellow squares because they just balance out. We're left with three shapes, two of them on one side and one on the other. In order to weigh the same as the blue heart and red circle combined, the green lightning bolt needs to weigh at least three pounds. Anything less than that and the right side will definitely be lighter. Now, Let's look at this scale. We've now established that the green lightning bolt weighs at least three pounds. Combined with the weight of the red circle, the right side of this scale weighs at least four pounds. In order to be heavier than this, each of the blue hearts on the other side needs to weigh at least three pounds. We can now establish that the blue heart and green lightning bolt are the two heaviest shapes now let's look back at this. In order for these two sides to be balanced, given the information we now know, the only way it can work is if the blue heart weighs three pounds, the lightning bolt weighs four pounds, and the circle weighs one pound. Adding back in the yellow squares, we can now conclude that they weigh two pounds each. And each side of this scale weighs six pounds. So therefore, it should in fact be balanced. Using those same measurements for this scale, we can conclude that the left side is indeed heavier. Now, let's go back to this scale. Using the measurements we now know, we can now conclude that the left side of the scale will be one pound heavier than the right. Thank you so much for watching. Today's quote of the day is from Jenna Kingsford. Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Well, that's all for me, folks. Until next time, later.